Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate UVDesk Help Desk e-commerce connector with Open Card platform. So let's go. So as you can see, I have opened my Open Card dashboard here. So first of all, we need to <coughs> go on store.webcool.com to download the UVDesk connector file. So here we are proceeding towards store.webcool.com. You can go on more option and click UV Desk. Here you can see the UV Desk Open Card Free Help Desk Ticket System is there. So you need to go on the Get website to download the file. And from here you can download the zip file. Since I have already downloaded the file, so I will just show you how you are going to proceed with that. So you need to extract the file open card which you have downloaded from the get and this is what you will get which it will contain the modules of OC 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.2, 3.0. Now since I have downloaded the install open card 3 version so I will open the open card 3 module and here you can see there are 3 files admin, catalog and org mod. So what you have to do you can you just have to first of all open the open card file which is there on your server and here you will also see there is an admin and catalog file so you just need to upload the admin and catalog file from the files which you have just extracted from the zip file onto your server Now the files have already been uploaded, so now you can go on dashboard and just refresh it. One second. Now you need to go on extension and you have to go on install. Now here you need to upload the UV Desk Connector file. So you can click on upload and then you can go on the file which you have just downloaded that is the open card file from the get GitHub. Yes, here is the file and whatever version of open card you are using, just make sure you open that model since I am using the OC 3.0 model, so I am going to open OC 3.x. Now since the admin and catalog file you have already uploaded on the server, you need to open the orgmod file and here you can find the file uvdesk.orgmod.zip which you need to upload in order to install the uvdesk character. Now here you can see that uvdesk.orgmod.zip file has been successfully installed. Now you need to go on modification section and you have to just refresh it. Whatever changes you have made, you need to refresh it. Now you need to go on extension. From there you need to go on modules. Then at the bottom you will see there is a webcool uvdesk extension which is there. Now it is right now disabled. You have to first of all install it and then you have to configure it. Now for configuration, you need the access token and the company domain, which you will get after signing in the UVS. Now since I have already signed up in UVDS, so I will just show you how you can get the access token. So this is my UVDS dashboard. You need to go on the profile section. And then here you will find the API access tokens. You can create a new token by the name of open card or anything you want. And here you will see access token has been generated. So just copy the file, copy the code, and then you can go on and paste it here. After that, you have to give the company domain name. In my case, it is and then in the status you have to hit enable and save it now once you will save it you will see on the left hand side there is a uv desk module coming on the menu section now you have to go on systems in the system you have to go on users and the users you have to go on user groups here you need to click on administrator and you have to provide all the access 
to the administrator whether it is access permission or it is modify permission you just select all from here and from here and save it so now you can go on the UBTS module and here you can see the UV desk that will opening and it has fetched the tickets which are already there on my UV desk dashboard. So in future, if any customer raises a ticket, you don't have to go every time on the UV desk dashboard then open the ticket section. You just have to open the open card platform and from there on the left hand side you can click on UV desk and you will see the dashboard opening in front of you and from here you can manage the tickets. You can see there are lots of options like open tickets, pending tickets, answer tickets. Apart from that, you have other options like you can assign the tickets to a different agents, group, teams, on to priority. Just same like you would have dashboard. Now we have to provide a create ticket option on your store also from where customer can raise a ticket. So for that, you have to do one last setting. You have to go on design section and click on layouts. In account section, just go on edit it. Now, first of all, in the root, you have to add one more thing. Account slash is already there. You just write account. Okay. Now, I need to add a quick ticket option on top. So, in content top, I will add a module here. And here, I will select UV desk and then save it. Now, see the changes. You have to go on your store and you need to create a customer in order to check out that. So let's go and create a customer first of all. So let's go and create a new customer. So here you can see your account has been created and now you can go on my account and then select my account. Now here is the create ticket option which the customer will be getting. Now these are the tickets which are like created by the same email ID so they are showing in history section and if a customer wants to create a new ticket they can create a ticket from here. And from here they can select that type of ticket, subject and message and whatever tickets will be created from here, it will be shown on your UV dash dashboard which is there on the open cut platform. So this is all everyone how you can integrate UV dash help the connector with open cut platform. If you have any issues regarding open cut platform UV dash connector, just raise a ticket at support.uvdesk.com. Thank you.